Hey Madhu, you completed your MBBS. What next? When's post graduation? Hi Shruti, heard that you're taking care of your business. What next? When are you planning to get married? Nikhil, heard that you got married last year. What next? When are you planning a baby? Ram, your son is already a year old. What next? Which school are you planning to join him in? Monica, your baby has a baby? So sweet! What next? Retirement or passing the will? What next? What next? Oof! What next? What next seems like the most overrated question you would have heard in every phase of your life. But did you ever think you should plan for your future? Then wait a moment. Just give it a thought. What can be the vision for your future? Is your future in your hands? Yes, it is in your hands. It all depends on what are you going to do today to achieve the future of tomorrow. In this busy cycle of life, from choosing a movie that you want to watch on Netflix to choosing a career you want, our lives are full of decisions. You might ask me, oh dear, what do my decisions have to do with the whole world? While we think most of our decisions just affect us individually, can you imagine our decisions has an impact on the whole world? Let's time travel together now to experience a journey of life of how right choices and decisions can lead to a better future and a better world around us. My name is Vaishnavi Konikala. I'm still that little kid in the eyes of my grandparents and princess to my mother, proud daughter to my father, managing partner at Konikala Steels, responsible entrepreneur to the society and I visualize to wear the best hats in all the roles of my life and take steps towards a progressive and a bright future. We all enter this world as newborn babies. Our stories are yet to be written. Every human being on this earth experienced parenting and the parents today were once kids too. If we as children absorb the values, then we can pass on to the next generation and to the future generation just to visualize how the world would be. Today, I'm in front of you, grateful to be a part of the global change, to be the future of now. Do you think my credibility, experience and education brought me in front of you today or I just woke up from the bed with a coffee and ta-da, I'm at TEDx. Wish it worked that way. But it takes me back to the day I was born, the way I was parented and the mindset which was nurtured. Yes, the global transformation starts from home, from parents because they are the active shapers of a child's future, from creating a matrix of my child need to do this and that, where my child need to spend their free days, their free time to developing a positive social network. Current parenting should include spending quality time with children shaping up their future. For example, have you ever struck with thoughts like Shakespeare's father telling, My dear son, I am not able to understand what you are trying to say, so please don't disturb me instead of encouraging him. We would have missed the most influential writer in the history of English language. Tales of Romeo and Juliet, Julius Caesar wouldn't have been in existence if he wasn't given a chance to be innovative. Hundreds of words and phrases are still used today and he contributed to the standardization of English language. So dear parents, let your children, the future generation, unleash the unlimited potential within them because they hold the future within their hands. Remember, your children are imitators, not followers. If you watch your mobile phone, do not expect your kid to read a book. If you party, do not expect your kid to excel at extracurriculars. Whatever you sow, you reap. So values, ethics, responsibilities and empathy and watch them reap your vision right in front of you. But imagine your child sow these into the society. How beautiful the world turns out to be. So, your child is now ready to bore the future. But where's the passport? In today's scenario, the ability to take right decisions comes through right education, the passport to the future. Education is not only completing 10th, high school, bachelor's, master's and doctorate in international schools and universities. Instead, it should be considered as a powerful weapon to face any challenge that we come across. Today, we are very fortunate to have access to information across the globe with just one single click through your mobile phone. You just need to decide on what you want to learn. Be it shopping, banking, cinema, education, you can just rule the world by sitting in your home with that 
single click. Today, we are living in the most extraordinary era of human history. But did you ever wonder, how did we come a long way in education from nothing to everything? Education system is not something new. It connects us to the very first humans ever existed on the earth. They used it to survive, to pass on the necessary skills to the next generation. And that is how, from invention of boats, oil lamps, today to self-driving cars, robotics and artificial intelligence, which promises innovations that will change the world in the coming few years. Talking about innovations, let me narrate a small conversation between two employees. One employee says, it is disheartening, right, to know that this founder of this company is not existing. He has gone too early to watch his dream turn into reality. He missed it, right? The other employee laughs and says, oh dear, the founder has already envisioned the empire that we are experiencing right now, a hundred years ago, leading to the foundation of the most successful entertainment company in the world. It is Walt Disney, a homeless teen with a strong vision with just $40 in hand, built an empire which includes merchandise sales, television companies, theme parks, movies, gaming and vacation, today leading to a revenue worth $81 billion. He is the perfect example of who used the world as his classroom. Whether it might be thousands of years ago or hundreds of years ago, the best companies or people always taught us the same thing, to dream boundless and delighted things that makes you jump out of the bed every morning with a strong vision and that leads towards greater decisions in life. Well, I don't have a problem with you choosing anything in your life and living the life you want with wonderful decisions. But the whole world has a concern about the choices you make. This might be surprising to you, but let me remind you, if a small butterfly flapping its wings can set off a tornado in other part of the world, don't you think your decisions make an impact in this deeply interconnected world? In fact, we live in a world where actions of one powerless man who sits on the couch all day long sipping a coffee and watching the whole world can have ripple effects on the world global issues like poverty, unemployment, climate change, food, health, youth, peace and security. So you might ask me, do I need to rethink on decisions from sipping a small cup of coffee to choosing my career? No, I would like to bring to your notice that random decisions, I repeat, random decisions in your life has an impact on people and places beyond boundaries. In this busy cycle of life, from schooling, college, marriage, university, and then again making your kids study, have you ever paused and asked yourselves, what is it that my heart goes out for? What is my vision? Which career choice of mine does good to me and the world around me? Decades ago, people felt uncomfortable if they faced boredom, always striving to learn something new. Today, our generation strives to work hard the whole week, waiting for the weekend, worried about Monday blues. Decades ago, humans struggled for survival for food. Fast forward to today, just within two clicks on the app, food is on your table. Today, our brains can conquer the whole world, not only on this planet, but can walk on the moon, split the atom and do many more, which were once thought impossible. You need to learn to think out of the box. We should not prepare for jobs. We should prepare for the unexpected questions in the question paper for the biggest examination called life. So we need to plan a career. Life without a plan is simply insignificant. But the fact is the career you choose, the decision making you do in this stage decides the coming years of your life. But today to start something innovative, we often doubt ourselves if our ideas would work in ground reality. 11 year old boy invests in shares for the first time. He took off his journey with a vision. He is Warren Buffett. Today he owns dozens of companies and he made billions of money. And a teenager wanted a personal computer. Never did he expect that he would sparkle a PC revolution when he started in a garage. Today he is the father of digital revolution. Steve Jobs, an Apple company, becomes an icon in the marketplace. The founders in their teens did not underestimate themselves. They chose a vision that they dreamt of and they found a joy in their work. This is what I want to tell you all. Spread your vision to the world and open a world full of possibilities. As a 22 year old, I faced a situation where my world ceased to exist with my father's death during COVID-19. I realized life poses you with just two options when it comes to decision making of your career. 
one is risk the other is regret i question myself do i need to risk an amazing placement at the university which delights me to choose it to cover my return on investment on education and travel on a smooth road or do i need to regret on disappointing the fourth generation of our business by taking a bumpy road and keep a full stop for the 50 year old family business you know what i chose i chose to risk my job in hand and not to regret for not preserving the legacy yes i chose a path of entrepreneurship to scale up the business to preserve the legacy to utilize my education in real time world to provide employment opportunities and last but not the least to contribute to the economy and this is what keeps me going i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference remember your life should not simply happen to you you should decide on to take on the wheel of your own ship and this is the first step to achieving your dream with a master plan to our future ahead we tend to forget the most important factor in our lives running behind wealth forgetting the real wealth which is our health decide your priorities is it health and happiness or money first because i decided my vision for the future question yourself did you because the best decisions will change your life change the world and change the lives of others because your decisions makes a difference in this world choose now choose well because you yes you are the future of now thank you